What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. And today is another day that we are gonna find out a little bit about what's in my DNA. I got my cappuccino. Anyway, for those of you that caught the purpose of my, uh, my cappuccino that I made at the beginning of the video, so on the previous one, uh, big ups to you. So today, well, I've already made a video about the My Heritage DNA kit and I believe I said, if I'm not mistaken, because I don't generally go back and watch many of the videos unless it's a point that I am absolutely completely foggy on. But I'm pretty sure I said something about going back and actually taking another DNA test because of a little bit of debate as to some of the DNA makeup that is in my family. So, I went and bought the, and I'm not sure, I'm sorry about the lighting if the lighting sucks because it looks like I might be a little bit washed out. Let me fix that. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. It's, it's one of those weird, dreary days outside and I'm trying to use natural light and it just is not working out. Let me, let me turn up on my app. Alexa, dining room light 100%. Okay. Alexi, you're stupid. You can always send feedback through the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. I think you're stupid. You can always send feedback through the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. Yeah, Alexa's dumb. I didn't get that. Honestly, at times Alexa's worse than a roommate. I don't have a roommate. But we're just gonna go with it. Not sure how much of this is gonna remake the video. So, I decided that I was gonna take the 23andMe DNA kit. There we go. It doesn't want to focus. We are going to get into this video right now. Stand up. Anyway, I basically went out and I bought the 23andMe DNA kit and that came back. So unlike the last time when I did the My Heritage DNA kit, I did not or had not figured out quite how to do a screen capture. Shit. When you log into the My Ancestry, uh, shit, did I just say My Ancestry? No, when you log into 23andMe, one thing I noticed out the jump, and I haven't looked at these results yet, so this is going to be the first time that I am looking at them. I obviously already have an idea of what they are. Right off the jump, it gives me 100% of my DNA. It specifically states, and we're gonna kinda go down the list, um, comes up with 81.2% Sub-Saharan African. That's not a shock, obviously, because I'm brown. Yes. All right, so 78.2% West African. That is not a shock, obviously, because I already had those numbers from the previous one. So, so far, and, and they're actually really, really close. Shit, I'll do another video actually comparing the two. Um, so West African, 78.2%, and when you click on it, it shows, basically it highlights all of West Africa. Sub-Saharan African, by the way, means south of the Sahara Desert. Uh, the next 1.7% is of my Sub-Saharan African is African Hunter Gatherer. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so when you click on it, it highlights three or two sections that is not in West Africa, but definitely parts of Africa. But once again, it is very general. Does not specify any countries by name. Um, then broadly Sub-Saharan African, which is odd because it's 1.3% and then that is legitimately everything that is south of the Sahara Desert and that's 1.3%. Uh, moving right along, so 16.6% European, which again roughly matches up with what I had already said. So when you highlight it, it highlights all of Europe. British and Irish, which that number doesn't surprise me, or that name, or Irish doesn't surprise me. So 16, or 6.5% British and Irish, uh, United Kingdom. Then 0.6% is French and German, so they're listing two different countries there. Actually, it's another broad thing. So they're talking about uh, the Netherlands, Austria, so it's, yeah. So they're talking about a lot of, so it's very general. Again, the 1.1% East Asian and Native American, so it says 0.7% Native American, 0.3% Southeast Asian, and 0.1% uh, 
um, East Asian and Native American. I did not pick up the um, the health part, but you can for another hundred dollars pick up the health section here. But as we scroll down, it gives you an idea of how many generations back various ancestors may have been in those particular countries. So West African is one to three generations back, but I do know that three generations ago, my, my family was never in West Africa, ever. I know exactly where my family was in the 1960s, because uh, I did a lot of uh, the family tree stuff already and I got back to 1865 and they were here. I will say that this website does give you a lot of instructions on how to interpret some of the DNA data. Honestly, I don't know how to read most of this shit. It, I just I just need names and percentages of places and, that I'm from. But much like every other DNA look up, oh, Neanderthal ancestry. I don't feel very Neanderthal. All right, I have 59 Neanderthal, blah, 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 blah. 59 Neanderthal variants. And this is less than 99% of 23andMe customers. So I am less than 99% Neanderthal. That's good, I think. No? Yes. No. I have zero Neanderthal variants associated with having straight hair. You don't know that. My hair could be straight. I mean, if it's long, it probably isn't. You don't know that shit. I am less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. I don't like chocolate. You should know that. 23 and me. I have zero Neanderthal variants associated with height. I mean, I don't know how tall a Neanderthal was, but I don't feel that I'm very tall. A uh, brief history of Neanderthals. Don't need to know that. I don't need history class right now. All right, so you can get your DNA relatives. I don't know these people's names, so I'm not gonna click on them. Not that they're ever gonna watch this video, so why not? This, wow. All right, this is cool, because in every DNA, well, the two that I've taken, the closest relative, as far as shared DNA, that I have come up with was point, or I'm sorry, it was 1.01 or something like that. So this one, at the top is 3.22 and it does not say like this specifically says second cousin that's cool why do i keep saying the word cool because i don't even use the word in my regular day the day life that's not cool i'll probably contact this person i don't this name i don't know who that is but we're related i think well one of the things that i noticed about the 23 and me off the jump is that it's get back up here is that it's very vague. The answers are very vague. They give very broad descriptions of where you're from. Okay, well, that concludes my DNA reveal for 23andMe. All right, well, I'm gonna do another video comparison and contrast of the two, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Melvin Reviews. I'm gonna be hitting you back again with more movie reviews. I've been busy and yeah, I suck. What can I say? I apologize. All right, peace.